What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching The Reseller Mom Show. Thank you for joining me today for a haul video. I haven't done one in a very long time. Um, if you've watched my channel, you know it's not my most favorite thing to do, but I really want to challenge myself with this channel and do things that put me outside of my comfort zone. And also, people really like hauls. So I thought, because I did get some good things at this most recent haul trip, um, I would share them. So I have a little bit of a mishmash. Most of it is from a consignment store clearance. So that's what most of it is from. And then there's like a few random things from the bins that I just thought were worthy of showing and one from a local closet clear out. So this is, we'll just get started. Um, these are Patagonia boys swim trunks, size eight and they are from the bins so i thought that was obviously a great find i don't find patagonia very often so i was extremely excited for that this was from a local closet clear out um, if you are not familiar with what that is i put up facebook ads and tell people that i'll help them clear out their closet they just bag up what they don't want i pick it up from them if they're in a certain geographic area i review it and i offer them cash just like a buy sell trade store um, and then I donate the items that I don't take for them if that's what they want and it works out pretty well I have an ebook on it in my Etsy shop The links are down below and I have a video about it with free information as well on the YouTube channel So this is a suit. It's a Calvin Klein size 6 So you got the gray pencil skirt and then the jacket And I'm a sucker for a suit they take a long time to sell, but I thought because this was Calvin Klein, it would do well. I have a few listed and I've sold a few. So it's kind of one of those just really long tail things, but hopefully I can get at least $50 for it. So I'm going to give a Calvin Klein a try. Um, this is a Columbia kids jacket, size extra small, six, seven. Is this from the bins? This might have been from the bins. Um, I love picking up the kids' jacket. So this one's Columbia. This one is a girl's North Face. They're just so easy to photograph. You still get $20 or $30 for them. And this is a size extra small as well. So I just really like doing the kids' jackets. Um, and I don't pick up a lot of kids anymore. Really, I'm just picking up things that I can get a decent price for. So. Um, most of this here is from the clearance sale, so we'll go through it. It was 80% off. This is a Free People top. That was really pretty. So I paid $280 for this, which, you know, when they do an 80% off, which isn't normal, usually it's 70% or 90%. Um, and 90% is obviously the preferred, but I don't know if they're going to do a 90%. I, you know, you're paying 10% of what they have it listed for. So it's really easy math. It's, you know, usually a no brainer. Um, for some of these, I had to think twice. So we'll see how this does. I don't find and sell a lot of free people. Um, but obviously I would like to. So there's that. I'm not going to show you everything on here. I'm just going to show you some of the more notable things. Everything else over here is either not from the clearance sale or just not anything that special. This is a new with tags, free people, size extra small. This is a $48 top, tank top, camisole. You know I love my cashmere. This is a Talbot's pure cashmere, size medium, sweater vest. Great shape, perfect for the holidays. This is, I think it was Moth, size extra large, choker tank top, um, textured, I forget what this is called. The reason why I don't do a lot of hauls is because I can't ever think of the keywords off the top of my head. So I'm just going to show you what they are and give you the brand, tell you if there's any story about it, but I'm not going to get into a lot of keywords because... I just get really tripped up. So this is a gorgeous little party dress. You can see the lace at the top, so cute. And so I saw the label and I thought it's gotta be something. I'll show you like this. I'm not used to doing this with the computer. So 
also Akira Chicago Red Label. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so I just quickly ch checked comps on this. I didn't spend too much time with it. Um, but they were at least in the $25 range, if not higher. So I need to do more research because I wasn't sure if those were the red label. Maybe that's something more special, I would assume. So I um, need to look into that a little bit more. This is just a J. Crew top. Size 4. So I'm only picking up that black label. Um, I think that the new tag has... The cursive J. Crew, if I'm not mistaken, these did not have that. These are the the print typewriter font, um, but I'm still gonna pick them up because they're still more recent than not. Eliza J. Shift dress. I'm such a sucker for these mod type dresses. Vince. It's a size large. Pink top. So we've got a couple good ones. I'm not saving the best for the last. I'm just going in whatever order I have them in. So I'm looking forward to taking pictures here shortly. But I wanted to do the haul. It's been such a long time. So this is Tadashi Shoji. It's a gorgeous dress. It's orange. It's so pretty with the lace overlay. And it's brand new with the tag. And this is, where is it? Oh, $350. That's handwritten on here. So I don't know if that's the actual retail or maybe this was in a boutique and they wrote it on here. I don't know. Interesting. But it's gorgeous and it is a size large. And here's the label. Ted Baker, little tank top, so in love, size three. Is free people also, little tank top. J. Crew, I thought this would be nice for holidays because it's kind of like a sweater vest with the sequins. New Year's or something. Not your daughter's jeans. So this is a size 14P. Does it have a style name? No. Usually they have a name. I don't know. But, um... I would say probably 10 and up size I would pick up for Not Your Daughter's Jeans. They had a lot of size 6 and I did not pick those up. So this is Parker. Oh, this is so hard to do. Parker. It's a little romper. Maybe it's off the shoulder. This is a $242 romper. This was from Nordstrom Rack, so it got marked down. I'll have to take those clearance tags off. This is Boston Proper. Same top with the very clangy beady. This is new with tag. J. Crew. This is ASOS. I just thought these were suede. These are so nice. Suede with like, I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather. I'm assuming it's probably faux leather. Brand new with the tags. Oh, leather is a natural product, so maybe it's real. Yep, 100% real leather, size 10. 
These are snazzy. Like a maroon color and then a navy blue. Can't really see. And then this was also, so again, most of all of these are from the clearance sale, Patagonia. So I, I don't see or find Patagonia at all. I think I've maybe found one or two things. So I have to like check comps and see, but they have nice pockets, elastic waist, super cute. It's very nice and soft. This is Torrid. Is this new at the tag? No, size three. Trina Turk shift dress. That's so cute. I, I saw a lot of stuff from Trina Turk. There were some things I put back and some things I kept. This is a size four shift dress, colorful floral. So I just thought it had good keywords and it wasn't too crazy. So it appealed to a lot of people. And then this one I got as well. This is a new with tags, Adriana Papel for the holidays. This is really pretty. Texture skirt, metallic shimmery, really cute. Size 14. So I got actually more items from the consignment sale, but I had already pre sorted them. So there was another Parker dress, there was a couple more Trina Turk dresses, um, a couple more things that I got that. I already sorted because the photographer is going to be taking her last bundle haul lot this week. And so I wanted to have a couple more things for her to do. Um, there's one last thing. This was actually in an airport lost luggage haul, but I just finally cleaned it. <laughs> so this is a Rock Revival men's white denim jacket. It is so heavy. Oh, this one doesn't fit on here. There's a couple little things with it that I'm going to have to disclose, but it's like a 200 something dollar jacket. So we'll see how it does. It's, I think it's so heavy. Um, but this again was in my airport lost luggage. So that's the mishmash haul that I have. Oh, I have two other things that I'll show. Well, actually I could show a few more. I got all these purses which I don't normally do a lot of purses. I have a Coach, a Dooney and Burke, and two more Coach bags. Those were all from a local closet clear out person um, here locally, and they're not in the greatest of shape. So I'm trying to remember how much I paid for them. Not more than $10. I wanna say maybe $5 a bag. I can't remember. Um, so I should hopefully be able to make you know, something on that. And then at the closet, no, at the consignment store, not at 80% off. I think it was 60% off or 50% off. I got this camel hair, Kate Spade, the tassel bag. And I don't remember how much I paid. I don't have the tag on it, but everything is like the inside still has this on it like it may not have even been used so i'm excited for that we'll try that again i don't do a lot of purses so i don't know and then this so this could be a disaster but this is what i did it's mew mew i have to look up what it's called just a nice tote bag. It has the dust bag. It has the, all the information here. So it is authentic and they wanted 250 for it, but it was clearance. So I'm pretty sure it was 50% off clearance. So I paid 125 for this. And I thought if worse comes to worse, I can always sell it back to a different consignment store. For some reason it doesn't sell and see what I get for it. I can always keep it myself, which I really don't need this bag. Um, but I'm hoping to at least 
get the 250 for it, if not more. So we'll see. I mean, I checked initial comps and there were some that were like two, there were some that were three, and then there were some that were less, and then there were some that were more. So it's a gamble, but I thought, let me just try it. Like, if you spend $125 and you make 50, is that good? If you spend $125 and you make 100, is that good? Like when you play at this level, which I can't play at this level for all of my inventory, but every once in a while I can play at this level. So it's a risk, it's a gamble. I thought I would give it a try and I wanted to share it with you because maybe it's something that you need to go out of your comfort zone with and maybe you need to try paying up for something that is a calculated risk so we'll see i'll keep you posted on it i I've, I've been holding on to this actually i haven't even been sitting on it and which i you know if you're gonna spend if you spend 125 dollars, don't do what i do and just sit here with it and not list it like i don't really have a death pile all this is gonna get listed very soon um I like to always have a backlog of things, but stuff like this I do sit on because I just have to like get in the mindset of like, okay, I'm not doing 25 items. I'm going to do this one item and I'm going to take amazing pictures and I'm going to do good research and really focus on it. So sometimes doing the quality work, not the quantity work is harder. <laughs> so, uh, I guess so that's all I have for you today. That's my haul. Figured I would pop on and just try my luck at doing a haul. So let me know how you think it went. Um, and I hope you have great sales. Be sure to like this video on the way out. Leave me a comment down below and go ahead and subscribe for more reseller mom content to get more done, make more money, and stay sane while raising kids and reselling online. Bye.